is going on guys it is your boy so here brings a video today bringing you guys a photoshop tutorial on how to create your own very cool uh we're gonna call it like one minute better designs or how to get a backing in a minute or something along those lines they're very abstract very cool styles as well um the video idea came across like almost a month ago someone asked me actually in one of these videos um well this one right here uh the one that has this little effect here this effect someone asked me like hey how did you do that effect and i it's literally one minute thing i did it literally in a minute um and there's like really cool these little things excuse me there's really cool little things in photoshop that you might not really know that can be used as like a really quick way to create a backing and whatnot um so this oops, oops where, where am i going this one <clears throat> i have an example here, uh, right here really cool like really nice and I, I would say like very sophisticated and like mature color scheme going on here um however in this one example right here it's a liquify more of a liquify kind of effect to it um the actual the style itself was a really cool known style from jesper if i don't know if you guys know who that might be but uh this style kind of ties in so i thought i might just won't show as show it up as well i mean it was a it was an older style by him so i'm not kind of like exposing anything or whatnot um so yeah, I wanted to show you guys really cool little things to do and like literally one minute kind of thing. So it's just one of those cool things that can really help you guys in just like, I don't know, creating a really cool concept in a minute. Like, I don't know how else to say it. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's just get this thing going. Of course, two likes on that video. You guys sync it out secret down below. And if any of you guys are wondering, yes, this is one of the methods that I did use in order to create some really cool stocks that I actually have in my, uh, whatchamacallit? my align pack jesus i don't know why i forgot for a second um okay so with that being said i'm gonna get this video going and uh yeah I'll see you guys in a second all right guys so let's go and get this thing going right now uh so basically this is kind of the example that what you're gonna basically uh one i kind of have to get the the good enough spread um the way about this is that here's the example of using the same exact spread here this is with uh the liquify actually already applied to it um so the difference is between like using something like this or using like a solid brush like uh maybe even something like this you're just gonna get something a lot more different. You see how, like, if I were to kind of like even just make it a little more bigger to make it a little more, uh, like reasonable. So, right here, there's still a lot of enclosed spaces, so you don't have enough breathing space for the actual colors to mix, give you really cool patterns and kind of textures and gradients, or, or, you know, you know how I mean, like the opacity differences. If you were to like look at something when we do this right in a second, right? So, the way to go about this, I'm actually gonna do this really quickly. It's very, very simple, but all you gotta do is go to, uh, select, excuse me, uh, filter, blur, motion blur. And you can see how this gives a really dope spread. So if I just zoomed in for a second, you can see how if you kind of had too much enclosed or too much surface area, I guess you would say there's like the, the most easiest basic term to kind of go about. Um, you can kind of find out that you're gonna you're not gonna get really cool values of color that look like this. You have, like see how like really pretty this looks right here. Um, all that like all this little empty kind of like grayish negative space is the the reason being is because it, when you stretch out the pixels as to what to what it was right there was no pixel in that area so it's gonna fill it in with like a, the gradient banding line colors of uh the shape itself you know what i mean so if i just go back for a second go to filter blur motion blur so a lot of you guys probably already knew about this but if you guys didn't like that's exactly how i created this uh simple little thumbnail <laughs> literally it's all i pretty much did um so yeah if you guys didn't know you know if you didn't put your angle up i would say your angle i'd say measure it to anywhere between uh it really honestly matters so if you kind of like went to the distance like this if i went up this way right You'll get more like blue here, but if I kind of move it over, you'll get, excuse me, a good even amount here. So I always do like around the angle 60, but if you kind of move it around, you can see you get different kind of banding lines and kind of different, I guess you would say a different effect, but just more or less different kind of color ratios of what I would kind of say. So I'll say 60 uh, angles, a pretty good angle to go about. Um, even like something maybe a little bit more like 67 or whatever right so basically this is all you have to do right so i'm gonna quickly show you guys like i said i, I don't know if i said this already but i'll give you guys this brush that i use for it i truly have no idea where i got the brush colors from but uh the color palette as well can be of course mixed up to whatever you guys want it to have um i usually always change with color balance anyway so anyway all you gotta do is just i would just kind of give you guys two or two or three colors minimum two colors three maximum colors or whatever maximum colors you really want to go about but in the sense of why i'm using three colors here so i can have something more or less like this um, for my uh, thumbnail right here, which gives it the same same exact effect, I just use yellow and gray. So kind of you kind of understand what the, the uh, kind of the different effect or uh, different color palettes or different color spread is going to give you guys. So if I go ahead now, just simply just you know the blue, and then I'm holding Alt and clicking on the orange little uh, kind of like what does it call it? Uh, color palette thing real quick, right? Orange and then this darker color, just put it right there. So I spread them now just very evenly. You didn't see you, you didn't see me go like this, right? I didn't put everything on top of each other. Oops, I didn't end up clicking but not everything's on top of each other i mean you can do it but i just found like you get the best result of color doing the way that is kind of do just like you know spreading it apart or whatnot and uh like i said once again you know you go to filter excuse me select <laughs> it's filter I, I did the opposite this time 
Uh, filter, blur, motion blur, and then you kind of just move it around. So you see how much blue this is, too much here. So this is where I got to probably change the angle around a little bit. Um, I mean, it might look pretty nice, though. So I'm just going to keep it on that for now. So what all be said and done, right? I'm going to throw this inside my little project, uh, little banner here size kind of thing. Right, and I can just throw this in and kind of call it a day and whatnot. So this is like one of those things. Like, it literally takes a minute. Like, I just it had to take a little bit longer because I want to show you guys. But uh, literally takes a minute. I press Control Y. Sorry. Right. So it's a really cool little effect. And the cool thing about this is, as well, that looks pretty nice actually. What I would like to do is, I would love to show you guys if you guys went ahead and kind of grouped everything together, or your background and this little stock image for your just for a little instant. Right. If you change your uh, blend mode, put on color, uh, excuse me, convert to a, a smart object. There we go. Jesus. Uh, go to filter and then camera filter raw. You can make these colors pop out even more. So if I were to click and zoom in for a second here, um, this is a camera filter raw. So if I just click this little Y down here in the bottom right, you'll see it says uh, cycle between before and after. You definitely want to see that. So you know what you're doing to yourself, um, doing to or yourself and or the picture. Right. So clarity. <laughs> throw that up make those angles nice and sharp the dehaze kind of bring all these colors time in a little bit better and all right automatically you can see like it just looks a little bit more better honestly so what i like to do is i like to put the vibrance up a little bit saturation up a little bit very small amounts depending on what color scheme you got kind of going for or whatever maybe you need even more um the blacks i would like to try to keep them a little more darker the whites bring up the all these nice little colors we have going on right it's kind of messing around with brightness and contrast. I'll, say, I'll just leave it like that for now. Press OK. This is something you can really do to really just kind of have it pop. And it'll look so, so, so good. These are like really quick little backing ideas that you guys can go about. So honestly, I love how that looks. However, there is something you can do, right? The liquify thing. So I believe, I don't know. I don't know if he like discovered it or whatnot. But uh, Jesper, like I said, is the person I know how to do this from. If I were to go ahead, I don't know if he does the same way as me. But what I like to do is I use like the twist uh, clockwise tool. So what the twist kind of does is really just twists things but the circle over right here is a little bit too small for me i'm gonna say one two hundred this is one two hundred uh one thousand two hundred right or 1200 you know whatever pressure about 82 that's pretty good so i'm gonna say maybe the brush even more bigger so what i'm trying to go for here is that i can just click once and then just drag top right just like very very nice and quickly in order to get one nice very cool little swirl to it because otherwise if you go to if you were using like the smudge tool it's going to be a little more difficult for you to kind of get the feel that you might want like i mean this is a little more easier or quicker for you do whatever the hell you guys uh, you know choose to do i'm going to restore all for a second but i like to use the twist in order to get really nice little curves but uh it's a very very trial and error kind of thing so i say once i get a good curve something like this what i like to do is then just go back into the smudge tool or the forward wrap tool whatever i said smudge before i don't know why i did that but uh and then kind of just you know mold it into the way i want to have it i just want to have it something like this and we'll say okay so press okay and now I have this little thing right here. So it, looks, it actually looks really, really nice. I love how that uh, the orange and blue kind of mix right here. But that's you see how you get a different style or a different way, color pattern wave, you know, banding lines or whatever you want to call them. Um, each and every time, it's almost different every single time. Like this one's this one's this one right here, and it's very, very, uh, I guess you'd say very vibrant. And there's not as much as like these really cool mid tones of this orange here. So I think it's pretty cool that you can just kind of make these different little styles and like really, really quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just cut this off for a second. I'm going to use this one this time. And just for the instance, guys, if you find yourself in a situation here, you say, I want to have this be all the way on the other side of the banner. Like, you see how this cuts off right here? I would just want to erase it. You know what I mean? That kind of be, like, what do, you, what do you do after that? Like, I would love for you to kind of, like, spread it around the entire way of the banner. Um, I would not suggest control T and then make it bigger because, obviously, then you lose the quality, as you can see. The pixels just get even more bigger, which means that the quality is just going to change because it's not that uh, it's not that size from, I mean, unless you worked in a document size being like 3,000 by 3,000, um, you know, that that probably work out for you guys. You have to like make it bigger or smaller if you guys wish to. But, you know, what I like to do is I like to just control T, right click, and then you like to use warp. So I take warp and then I just kind of warp it just like so. Take this here, put this over here. <clears throat> and I like to say, hey, there we go. I have it on the left side, I have it all the way on the right side. And I can make duplicates if I want to. If I need to, you see like this areas right here, right? Look right here. I'll take that eraser and kind of erase a little bit so it just kind of like flows a little bit better. I'll throw it behind the, uh, the design here. And if I want to, once again, I'll just warp it again just to, uh, to like mold it into the way that I want it to be, to flow, right? And for me, warp just works a little bit more better. And uh, last but not least, just turn it around like this. I'm not trying to do like a banner design or anything like that. Just something like that. It look pretty cool. Let's put this one like over here a little bit more. Leave some space there, whatnot. Say right here, I don't want that like that. Take the warp tool, move it down or whatnot. 
And uh, yeah, same thing with this one as well. What I would like to do is just group everything together. Control J, Control E to uh, make a basically a, a nice little image of everything that's inside this banner, basically, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize it. Excuse me, not rasterize it. Uh, convert it to a clip mask. Then I'm gonna go to filter, filter uh, raw camera. Zoom in. <laughs> Before and after. Let's put that clarity up. Let's put the dehaze as well. Mold these colors nice and good. Uh, vibrant saturation. I would say a little bit less saturation. Take our darks, put them a little bit lower. Take our whites, put them a little higher. Shadows in this case can probably go up as well. And then highlights will just, you know, keep it around 13 or so. And if you guys also want to, a cool thing you can do is mess around with the tint. I wouldn't mess around with the temperature as much. Um, it's almost like a color blur. Oh, that looked pretty cool though. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Maybe we'll mess around with the temperature and the tint. Um, but it also gives you really cool colors. Holy crap, that's a beautiful color too. So as you can see, the camera filter roll is also like the next very, very good step for you guys in the in the sense of like making like really cool backings. Like there's no way if you're an abstract artist and or someone who just looks to do something really cool and really quickly. Um, this one's not, I wouldn't say this is the most like, I guess, uh, uh, like cleanest style of it. What I would like to do is probably suggest you guys doing something more like this, you know what I mean? To get it more of a cleaner band if you're going for it. But if you're going for something really fun, abstract, something like this or something like that, it'll just be really, really fun, really quickly. It's just, it's just one of those things that I honestly think you guys should just explore and understand that there is options like this so that way when you go into photoshop once again you might say hey i i know I, I know filter blur maxing out the blur goes all the way what if i max out x y or z and i mean that's that's how you find styles that's how you find something something a little more different so more or less if you just if you learn something in this video here you're probably gonna or if you didn't learn anything from the video here regardless of which one ever one you're, whatever side you're on um basically the the method of this is just basically like exploring photoshop equals really cool things you know what i mean so hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today i was a little bit low on the time so i wanted to i wanted to like really kind of house this video into a different thing more like a banner design but i just chose to just do it in more of like an effect kind of thing because i have sister's birthday which is purge theme i have my friend coming in from the air force visiting me tomorrow which is friday tomorrow saturday um you guys probably watch this on sunday and then i have a, a lot more things to do but i didn't want to miss a video for you guys but here we go i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below which most likely be maybe a psd of this video here with just me doing a couple more little things like this to kind of give you guys a cool little uh direction of template maybe where you can put your text and whatnot um text would be a really a uh, fun little i guess a fun little not problem but a fun little uh you know problem solver um to get looking really cool with this little environment here but this right here is more or less just something really fun for you guys to do for backings but anyway talk to you guys later set some hq out don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, enjoy your weekend